I'm gonna draw a picture of Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this where you can see it. So do you think I can do it? Let's find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. You can go ahead and start with whatever part you want, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so um, as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start with the beak here too because they're kind of connected to the eyes. And the reason I say I like starting with the eyes is because they're in the middle of the face make a pretty good reference point. You can kind of tell where you want the rest of the face to be based on that. So now I'm using a brush pen. You're probably going to want to use something like uh, color pencils, magic markers, crayons, something like that. Um, but because um, this is really messy. To get the ink out, you pretty much have to squeeze the sides and then the, then the ink will come out. And you have to also make sure you don't have too much ink. You're going to have a bunch of ink blots all over the place. And definitely before doing something like this, for some of you uh, younger audience members, definitely make sure that you get parents' permission before using anything like paint because you're probably going to make a mess. Now I'm going to do my best to not get any ink on the couch or on myself, but mostly on myself. I mean, mostly the couch. So anyway, <clears throat> pretty much got the head finished now. And one good thing about drawing like this is you don't have to be worried about you know, making mistakes, especially if you're using a pencil. You can always go back and erase any mistakes you made. Alright, so now I'm about to draw his hand. One thing about a lot of older cartoon characters is most of them have gloves. Whether it's Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck, Daffy Duck or Bugs Bunny or Woody Woodpecker, a lot of them, they all have gloves. Another common trait is a lot of times they'll have four fingers. I guess the reason for that is because back in the day, a lot of these characters and cartoons were they were all drawn by hand. So just drawing one less finger would really, would really help out. So another thing I can tell you. A little trick I learned from my old art professor, Jerry Bannon, is that if you just focus more on the act of drawing and not so much the finished project, you'll make better drawings. Now, some of you younger viewers may be saying, oh, well, I already knew that. Well, as you grow older, it's very easy to forget because you're constantly worried about the finished project. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why is that going to make any difference? Well, in a lot of cases, I'm going to be worried that I'm going to mess the drawing up. So, I might not add shading or some other aspect that would have actually improved my drawing in the long run, but out of fear of ruining my drawing, I didn't do it. So, if you just concentrate more on the act of drawing and not your finished project, then you will make better drawings. So, I have something here. Now, I think I could have done a little bit better. You might think that's actually pretty good drawing, but if you're practicing at home and your drawing doesn't look like this, don't be discouraged. Just try a few more times and you'll do much better. Draw Woody Woodpecker or any cartoon character and send it to Animation Treasures, care of Myron Smith, P.O. Box 354, Ridgeway, Virginia 24148. Your drawing could appear on the next show. What character would you like to see drawn next?